is Greg with Microsoft. Thanks for joining to learn more about the Power KPI Matrix Custom Visual. This is a useful visual if you're putting together a balanced scorecard with different types of metrics or just a long list of KPIs in a single table. With this custom visual, you can automatically create spark lines or small line charts showing the historic trend or optionally the target of each given KPI. So create hyperlinks to each of the individual KPIs as well as grouping your KPIs by optional categories and subcategories, which themselves uh, can be expanded and collapsed. Of course, you can create and define your KPI symbols and colors and define your thresholds and variances, similar to the related custom visual called Power KPI. Version two of the visual allows you to use images with your metric names or optional categories. Hovering over the spark lines gives you interactive tool tips. Clicking on related cells will drill down and launch a pop out of the Power KPI visual, which is embedded. You can use slicers along with the custom visual, including slicers now with the optional categories. And Optionally, you can include a secondary comparison metric in addition to your primary KPI, and the visual will automatically calculate the variances, such as for prior year figures. The output of your KPI table can be flipped to show your metrics either in rows, shown here, or with a single setting, you can flip it so that each metric is shown in columns. Extensive customizations are supported using the format pane, including cell-specific colors, formats, number formats. You can also choose to format individual rows or all of your metrics at the same time using the appropriate dropdown within the format pane section. Quickly create a new Power KPI matrix instance using a row-based schema. Here's my row-based model. I'll need a date field. I'll need an actual value. And now I can choose the Power KPI matrix. Resize. You can see I've already got a little bit in there. With a row-based metric style, I need to drag my metric name onto the row-based metric name field well. And now all of my unique metric names are already called out. I can now add the index value, which determines my KPI indicator. Sorry, indicator, index. And now let's add my comparison value. Using the format pane, I can start to customize, such as the spark lines. I could either choose to customize all of the metrics at once. Here, I'll change the background color or I could choose an individual metric. KPI indicator can be formatted. Based on the index number in your data, you can decide which symbol you would like to show and which color. To get the sample file, open a browser and go to visuals.powerbi.com. Search for Power KPI Matrix. Click on the Get It Now button. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a link to download the sample report. 